Next one, Valentina Shevchenko beats our girl Caitlin Chukagian. TKO from a mounted crucifix position. Valentina just looked so good. Had an answer for everything Caitlin threw. If there is one criticism, and obviously I don't like criticizing our people, especially people that's close to home. I would say the significant difference to me in that fight with Valentina and Caitlin, when Valentina threw her strikes, there was conviction and authority and um, a, a bit of nastiness that she was trying to hurt you. When Chukagin threw, it did not look like she was really trying to commit to the strikes. It didn't look like she had that mean bone in her body, like she was trying to hurt Valentina with those kicks or with the punches. It looked like she was kind of just trying to stay on the outside, um, where once Valentina saw her throw something or found an opening and caught a lapse in, in focus. I don't want to call it focus because I think that, I think Caitlin was focused the entire time. But it just seems like once she was able to lull her to sleep, she did a little hop stamp, stance and she's tapping on that front, that lead leg and she's sliding back. She's tapping and she'll throw like that 2-1 step in, step in with the back foot and then chop down with that lead leg kick. And there wasn't much wind up on it. It was just a quick snapping kick. Bop, bop. So it'll be two, one, boom, boom. Two, one, slide in, chop, and then back out into her stance again. And then boom, killer vision, killer focus on her the entire time. Now, Caitlin tried to pull guard at one point in the second round at the end where she caught that elbow right above the eyebrow. She got split open pretty bad, pretty significant cut. One shot from the guard of um, Caitlin from, from Valentina. And that did significant damage. And I do think that started to change the trajectory of the fight and maybe the tone. Um, Caitlyn did try to pull guard the one time. And Valentina felt this. She maintained her, her, her standing position neutral and stayed strong, held on to the clinch. Once Caitlyn set, reset down, put her feet on the ground, beautiful stuff from Shevchenko. She steps around and trips the back leg right into side control. Caitlyn's trying to get out of side control, and she's pretty fucking good off of her back. I will definitely give her credit for that. Super flexible. She can get her legs into places because she's super flexible, that flexibility and her, her IQ on the ground. And um, it looked like, and I think Dan, Dan Hardy, actually, yep, Dan Hardy made this, I was listening to one of his podcasts with someone else for the BT Sports or um, Dan Hardy Corner, something like that, Open Mat. It's called Open Mat UFC 247 with Dan Hardy, something and whatever. So I'm listening to this and he made a very good, um, he pointed out a very good point. He pointed out a very good point. He pointed out a very good sequence that I didn't notice until after he pointed out, I said, you're right. And he was talking about the damage on the side that Valentina was on the side that Caitlyn was cut on. She was cut on the left side of her face. Valentina was on the left side of Caitlyn, inside control, sitting for judo. And Caitlyn was kind of protecting her face by trapping the arm of Valentina. And while she's trapping the arm, it leaves space for you to get that knee through for a crucifix. Whenever you get into put into side control, you always want to bring your elbows in. But if you bring your elbows in in a straight up jujitsu position, what does it leave you open for? Ground strikes. So I'm going to stop the ground strikes by trapping the arm. And once I trap the arm, it leaves it a chance for the, my top opponent to push their knee through as they're sitting through to through that judo slash side control position. Open the guard, pin my arm down, and that's what Valentina did. And then she figured forward the arm with her legs. And from there, that's pretty much all she wrote. And beautiful stuff, beautiful transitions. And I don't know what else is going to happen for Shevchenko. There's really nobody else there for her to fight. Maybe if, if um, Calderwood could win a fight, another, not a winning fight. If she wins her next fight, maybe that's the next opponent in line for her. Um, I know they mentioned Jennifer Maya. There's not a ton of challenges right now that are very intriguing that you could be like, oh, I'm definitely interested in that. I think Valentina chills out, hangs out on the beach, trains, takes it easy, let the body recover, and uh, let the division play out a little bit so that she can get herself a contender that makes sense. Um, right now, I, I just don't see any real tough challenges for her ahead. 
Um, hopefully, Caitlyn can can bounce back. You know, you know, title challenge a loss. You know, she's done something that many of us wish we could do, um, or still trying to do, and she gave it a shot and she came up short. And that's all you can ever ask for, you know. So keep your head up. Um, break down the tape, the assessments. See what your coaches think. See what your teammates think, and be open and honest with the, your own performance and be open to receiving criticism and uh, really try to see if there's valuable points that people are making that you could make those adjustments for for the next time out.